Everybody, in today's lesson, lesson 6.1, we are starting on page 281 of the second grade Go Math textbook. And our topic today is drawing to represent three digit addition. So, okay, now we're writing, going to be modeling numbers in the hundreds place instead of in the tens. So, listen and draw for the following problem. Draw a quick picture to model the problem, then solve. Okay, this is just a review question from chapter five. Okay, to get started. <clears throat> Manuel read 45 pages in a book. Then he read 31 more pages. How many pages did Manuel read? Okay, so let me repeat the numbers. He had read 45 pages in a book. Then he read 31 more pages. How many pages did he read? So go ahead and draw a quick picture. Solve the problems. Uh, pause the video as you're doing your work and then restart. All right. So is this what you came up with? So we're modeling 45 plus 31. And we know that we could probably just do that one actually in our head. Okay. Because there is no regrouping involved. But it says draw a quick picture. So we'll draw four tens and five ones. And three tens plus one for 31. Well, how many ones do we have? We have two, four, six ones. And how many tens do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. So we have a total of 76 pages. Okay. We know how to do that, right? Feel pretty confident about that, probably. So let's look at page 282. So what's it look like when we have three digits? Well, now you notice we have a third place value column. Hundreds, tens, ones. So we're going to add 234 and 141. So the quick picture for 234 would be two squares, three tens, and four ones. Okay, so 234, 141. That will be one square, one, two, three, four tens, and one one. All right, how many ones do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five ones. How many tens do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. And how many hundreds do we have? One, two, three. So if we put that together, we would say 375. <clears throat> so it's no different than tens and ones, except we have an extra place value. We have a larger place value having hundreds. Okay. All right, so we're going to draw quick pictures to solve these problems. Write how many hundreds, tens, and ones you have in all, and then write the number. 125. All right, so they started for us. They have 100, two tens, and five ones. We're going to add 344. So 344 would be three hundreds, four tens, and four ones. All right, how many ones do we have? We have five ones, and four more ones would be nine ones. How many tens do we have? We have four tens plus two more tens is six tens. And how many hundreds? Three hundred plus another hundred, four hundred. So we have 469. Okay. Our six tens is 60. So 60 and 9. 469. 307 and 251. And we're going to add those. So 300. Zero tens. 307. Zero tens. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven ones. And we're going to add 251. All right. Start in the ones. How many ones do we have? We have seven and one more. Eight ones. Five tens and zero tens. So we have a total of five tens. And we had 300. And we're going to add two more hundreds. Five hundreds. So 558. All 
Okay, let's look at page 283. Number three. Draw quick pictures, write how many hundreds, tens, and ones and all, and then write the number. So we're going to add 231 and 218. All right, so we have eight ones and one one for a total of nine ones. We have three tens and one ten for a total of four tens. We have 200 and 200 for a total of 400. So we have 449. Number four. <laughs> Number four, we're going to add 232 and 150. So 200s, three tens, and two ones. That is a quick picture for 232. 150, 100, and five tens. There aren't any ones. So we have a total of just two ones. We have five, six, seven, eight tens. And we have three hundreds. So we have 382. Okay, number five. Use the quick pictures to find the two numbers being added. Then write how many hundreds, tens, and ones, and all, and then write the number. All right, so this first number, we have 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 3. So we have 53 plus the 100, 150. Three. Okay, so 100, 5 tens is 50, plus 3, 153. In the second one, we have 200, no tens, and 2, 4, 5, ones. So we have 205. So how many ones do we have total? We have 5, 8 ones. We have 5 tens, and we have 3 hundreds. So we have 358. All right, let's go to page 284. Right. Represent a problem. Mm -hmm. There are 125 poems in Carrie's book and 143 poems in Angie's book. How many poems are in these two books? Sam wants us to draw a quick picture to solve, and we have 125 in one of them and 143 in another. So our addition problem would be 125 plus 143. So the quick picture would be 100, two tens, and five ones, 125, and 100, 143. So how many ones do we have? We have two, four, six, eight ones. How many tens do we have? We have two, four, six tens. And how many hundreds? We have two hundreds. So we have 268. <clears throat> And the last one for this lesson. Reese wants to add 456 and 131. Help Reese solve this problem. Draw quick pictures and write how many hundreds, tens, and ones and all. Then write the number. All right, so how many hundreds do we have? Well, we have to represent 456. Okay, so there's 456. And we're going to add 131. So how many ones do we have? We have 6 plus one more, 7 ones. We have 5 tens and 3 more tens, 8 tens. We have 400 and 100, 500. Put it together, 587. All right, so that's it for representing three-digit addition. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.